Beware the Ides of March. Beware the Ides of March, yeah, I'd, I'd never even heard of that until the 15th of March, 2017. Uh, it was Jan who heard noise upstairs, a bit of crackling, and we couldn't just, I thought there were a squirrel on the roof or something. Uh, came outside and noticed smoke and flames coming out of the, out of the thatched roof. Uh, Realised, you know, obviously the roof's on fire, so rang the fire brigade, and I, I would say within 20, certainly 25 minutes of the initial phone call, they had water on the roof. Uh, due to the construction of the roof being thatched, the water wasn't penetrating to the seat of the fire, so they, they struggled right from the word go containing the fire, and we just watched the house burn from one end to the other. All down here was absolutely, it was water. The ceilings have fallen through. The old range there was within days was red rust. It was a scene of devastation downstairs. It wasn't, it wasn't a pleasant time, to be honest. It's, as you can imagine, it's a big shock to the system. You know, when you stand there watching your house on fire, all your life's possessions going up in smoke. Uh, and it wasn't much different the morning after. We were on, we were on our own with the fire brigade, uh, and that's when, that's when the, the loss assessors started coming up the track, introducing themselves to us. Uh, we decided to go with the services of Morgan Clark, who turned out been ab absolutely brilliant. They made our lives a lot easier, certainly over the two years it took to rebuild the house. I smoothed things along the way. Um, Right from the beginning, I think it calmed things. We were going to be put up in a like-for-like -like accommodation because it was obvious we weren't going to be back in the house anytime soon. And we requested that we have a mobile, a static caravan so that we could live on site. That was sorted out. I think it was a nice balance. We did still have felt like we were involved because living on site, some things weren't or didn't have to go back to you, but we knew and I think you knew that we'd refer things back if we needed to. This old oak table is 100 years old and I never thought we'd get any use out of it ever again. Right away, within a day, a company came in, Restore, who Morgan Clark sorted out, uh, and they took all this away. They've had it all French polished. It came back uh, just as we moved back in and it was like it had never been away. Amazing, really. Amazing how they got it back to like it used to be. Six months, I think, before the fire, we'd had a kitchen redone and we discussed it with you and we finished up managing to get the same company that we wanted to do the work, do the work. I wondered whether whoever got the main contract would have their own kitchen fitters and apparently they do, but it was nice that we could work between the main contractor yourselves and Moss Hall and get the kitchen back that we had fitted previously. Before the fire we had a really long corridor that was a waste of space really so while we were moving rebuilding the stud walls we decided to bring this stud wall forward about three feet uh, so we've got what was corridor is now bedroom we've just redesigned it to suit ourselves and it works very well we're very pleased with it. You know when, when we look back e even now to you know, the 15th of March, uh, a date I will never, and I'll always remember the Ides of March. Uh, where we are now and where we were then, well, there's no comparison, is there? Definitely have no qualms in saying, have a loss assessor. I know people who haven't, so I would say definitely have a loss assessor. And if I, if, God forbid, this, if it ever happened to me again, I'd be on the phone to Morgan Clark. Thank you.